gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel That's right, Deb Schnell's 48th World is where you at Where you trying to find all the entertainment news you can possibly bear I wanna thank you for supporting me For always supporting me And, and watching my videos Continue to subscribe to my channel Like my videos and share my videos, okay? But this all goes down in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, indicator where it's greater, all right? The Real Housewives of Atlanta preview today. Uh, well, not today because I didn't get it out. Uh, but Sunday, um, November 3rd, and it came back with a blast. I'm talking about a pure blast of excitement. For me, it was like, it opened up real good, real shocking, you know, surprises. And then it kind of got, it didn't flatline, but it kind of got kind of mushy in the middle. And then towards the end, it just popped right back up to like skyrocket uh, phenomenal views going to be shown on season one. Okay. Yes, Lord, it was just too much to bear. I was screaming in some of the episodes. Well, some of the takes during the episode, me and my daughter was just having little sidebars. Honey, they even had Tasha K up in there, which is a vlogger here down in Atlanta. I don't think she was born and raised here, but she made her way down here, okay? Uh, and they were trying to debunk the stuff that she had put out there on social media regarding this whole thing with Dennis McKinley. Um, what do you call it? Portia, and this woman called Sincerely Ward, okay, they were trying to debunk uh, Tasha K, and, you know, they pretty, they did a pretty damn good job, because uh, unless Sincerely is lying uh, completely, there was an affair going on per Portia Williams, but it just wasn't with who Tasha K said it was with, which was Sincerely Ward. They cleared that all up on the episode. Now, whether it's true, I don't know. But it just is what it is, okay? You could go with whatever story you want to go with. But right now, I'm finna talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm finna give you a little summary of what the episode was, what it was about. It was titled The More, The Merrier. This is season 12, episode 1. Uh, the summary goes into what Bravo brought out was Kenya relish, <coughs> uh, relishes her new role as a mother to daughter Brooklyn. Portia relationship with Dennis hits a rough patch. A guest shows up at the Candy's OGL rest or OLG restaurant to reveal shocking news about Dennis McKinley. Then we have Cynthia is very extremely overwhelming obsessed about getting engaged. Now, I just embellished that a little bit because it just didn't take enough for them to just say Cynthia is obsessed about getting engaged. She's way beyond that point. If you watch the episode or you catch the recap, you can see what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I was like, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, you are 52, 54, something like that, acting like this, like a high school girl getting out of uh, high school or getting out of college and she don't find her bow and she's just so excited. Honey, at 50 something years old, we don't get that excited. We go straight to the courthouse, make our uh, place of where we're going to uh, reside and we, we get life going on. We ain't got time for no wedding and all this kind of stuff. We might have a big reception party afterwards, but we want to become Mrs. Uh, so and so. So we're going to do what we got to do. Okay. But anyway, that was just my sidebar, me embellishing a little bit. Okay. And the next uh, part was just, it's just a real big setting. And I was very surprised that they gave us like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So it was real good. And the next episode, um, will be coming on November 10th. I always come back to my channel and get that recap, that review, because you know I'm going to be here, God willing, giving you the coffee. I'm going to be pouring it up, piping hot. Okay, and for those who want to bring their own bottle, okay, come on in the house, sit down, and, and let me get started. For the ones that want tea, well, whatever water I had, had left for the coffee, uh, being poor, you can have that for your tea, all right? But the next episode is going to be called Cheating Hearts. And maybe they're going to focus more so on Kenya Moore and Portia uh, Williams with that cheating stuff. Because, um, yeah, that's only a 
people I can remember that had some bad ties uh, prior to the new season starting with uh, a relationship going bad or it's going south. But let's get on into this Real Housewives of Atlanta that aired last night, which was November the 3rd, Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock, my time zone. Okay, we go in. We're going to talk about Kenya first starting off. Okay, she's bringing up the baby, her home environment. She's whispering to, like, uh, we in her house and the baby sleep. I, I didn't get that. It was kind of cute, but I'm like, Kenya, we can, uh, you can go on and express yourself unless you were taping and the baby was sleeping and you didn't want to, you know, wake her up. I can understand it, but hell, I was like, girl, go on the show. Uh, yourself, your baby, your environment. Claim your fame, honey. Claim who you are at this moment, not who you want to be or who you're trying to be. If you're single, raising that baby girl, then you're single. You're fabulous. You continue to keep twirling, honey. Because you don't have to surround yourself or sit around yourself saying, oh, my child need a daddy. Oh, my child need to be around their father. Blah, 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 blah. No, we don't want to hear that shit. You're roaring out here. You're doing the darn thing. You are 100% and being some her mother. You're going to be her provider, her protector. Give her some spirituality up in there. Jesus Christ is the one I will follow. But hey, to each his own. Okay? And you're going to be good all day, every day. It's long you keep your hands and your eyes towards the Lord, you're going to be good. Forget all this other mess you're talking about. I want Mark. I want our relationship. Hell, if he don't want you, just face it for what it is. Go on with your life. Be good. Be great. Go forth. Okay? But anyway, that was my embellishing. Okay? Trying to support my homegirl, since y'all always say I don't support my homegirls, but I do. But when they acting like asses out there, I got to call a spade a spade. But okay, we want Kenya to go forth and be great with or without Mark. Okay, if he acting all like he don't want to be on TV and this is your meat and potatoes or how you make your money, then cut him loose, honey. Cut him loose. Let him go and be great and go forth somewhere else. Okay, but anyway, um, Kenya uh, is getting out the bed. Uh, cause, uh, Miss, uh, Brooklyn is waking up and she's, you know, stirring and she's making all her coos and calls, like letting her know I'm your little alarm sister. I'm hungry. Pick me up. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. And, you know, she's talking to the baby and, you know, talking to her about don't be pooping in the bed and all this stuff and telling her she's the reigning queen right now. You the princess, you know, don't be trying to take my throne, that kind of thing. Look, look, cute banter here and there with the baby girl, but we know it's going to be totally different when that girl grow up. Okay. She probably respectful. Hopefully can you raise us all right where she expresses her thoughts and her opinions in a respectful way, but not all willy nilly like, uh, married the medicine daughter. Um, uh, what's her name? Um, Lord, what's her name? I can't think of her name, but y'all, Alora, uh, Dr. Heavenly's uh, little girl, but that, that's another subject, that's another show. Getting back to this one, um, she goes on to say, uh, Mark is a surrogate father, or he seems to me to be an absentee father, but you know, it just is what it is, okay? Then we go to Portia. Portia's bringing up PJ alone, you know, she's crying and carrying on. Hers was a big shocker because she, her uh, so called fiance was in the news saying, you know, he was doing all this, that, and the third with animals, and then he was doing all this with other women, and you know, Portia being nosy, just being curious, you know, how they say curious cat. You know, you shouldn't be too curious because, you know, that's what killed the cat. But, you know, they tend to have this old adage that they have nine lives, too. So you could be resuscitated, uh, uh, Portia. But don't be going looking for stuff if you don't want to find the answers, okay? If you ain't ready for the answers that you're trying to unveil by sneaking on people's phones and checking their messages, this, that, and third, don't go through it. It's more so if it's done in the dark and if it's meant for you to know, it will come to life, okay? You can bet on that all day, every day. All right. But anyway, she goes on. And uh, cry her woes out that she didn't think she would be in this particular uh, position because, you know, pretty much she felt the Lord brought her this man and this, that, and third. And, you know, like I said, people need to kind of leave the Lord out of it. Um, if you go forth and be great and this man has been good to you, claim it on an everyday basis, but keep it out of social media, okay? Because something's going to happen if they out there being foul and it's going to come back. But see, these are your feelings that you share towards this person, not what the person sh shares back towards you. So if you were, you know, being honest and, and truthful and, and, and faithful, you know, you did your part for us, the relationship. You did your whole 100% part. The other person didn't do theirs. They were unfaithful. So put it back on them. Don't put it back on yourself. Even though I know it's a, a big blow and all that, but honey, dry your tears, pull yourself up, put on your big girl pants and go out there and be forth. Uh, be great and go forth, okay? Because you got a lot of things to be um, thankful for. Health for one, 
knowing the Lord, falling in love, and we're going to put the Lord first in your hell. And you got a good support system when it comes to your uh, mother and your sister. Okay, and then you have other good friends around you, I'm pretty sure, that want to help you out as well. So dry your eyes, too. If you're going to be with this man, make him toe the line. If he can't toe the line and he's still behind the scenes making you miserable, cut him loose. Point, period, and blank. Let him go be messy and go forth and be great with somebody else. But at least you know he ain't bringing you down. Empty your bank account slowly but surely. Uh, and then you and uh, baby um, PJ be sitting up there living with your mom again. No, not a good look. Okay, Portia? Grow up, baby. Grow up. Learn your lessons and keep moving. All right? Because it's going to be many obstacles that you're going to have to face and cross over or let them kill you. Okay? So, if whatever don't kill us makes us stronger. So, continue to go for it. Be great. Um, they were just showing a lot of little uh, inferences and references back to Tasha K. She's a blogger here in Atlanta. And they, she was spilling out all the stuff on to, uh, Portia and Dennis alleged, you know, affair going on between them and their situation. And, uh, you know, like I said, it was a great debunkment because the person that was supposedly been, you know, fooling around with Dennis actually Actually, she came on the show saying it wasn't her. She didn't do that. She don't even know a Dennis from Kendall. So she was trying to break her truth in there with a the little minutes they gave her. So it's pretty much who are you going to believe? You know, watch people's actions. Watch how they uh, move and shake out in these streets. And then you can make a pretty uh, correct diagnosis for your self, your edification, and let it go, let it be gone, you know, because it's always going to show up in the tabloids, it's always going to show up on people's YouTube channels, or social media, other platforms going to be talking about it, but it's just who you believe, you know, so it just is what it is, but I tell you to come to my channel and subscribe, and you can get it for free, okay, it costs you nothing but a little amount of your time, you want to go to no magazine or the grocery store uh, counter and purchase something when I'm already giving it to you, all right, okay, good. Uh, then we got Portia talks about uh, phone messages she actually ran up on on Dennis' phone when he was away and the phone was there and she probably knew his security code to get in, this, that, and the third. Uh, but like I said, she went looking for that. So sometimes when you go looking for trouble, you end up finding it and then you're going to have to process it through. Okay. Uh, Diane, her mom comes in to listen to Portia and stuff of that nature. And, you know, she said, well, baby, get some rest. I'll take the baby, this, that, and the third. And, you know, it's just a, a cute mother scene. You know, a mother going to always be there for a child, whether her child acts right or not. She's going to always show her that compassion and try to give her strength that, hey, baby, it just is what it is. You know, it happens to the best of us. You know, make your decisions uh, quietly off social media and move and go forth and be great, okay? Because he's always going to be her dad. You know, that's just biological there. But you don't have to be succumb to being in a household where y'all fussing all the time about infidelity, money, and this, that, and the third. So, see, it just is what it is. Then we move on to Candy. We got Candy hanging out with Ace. And, you know, she's trying to do her mama thing when she's there. And Todd, you know, coming in trying to get his 15 minutes of fame in the shot. But I do like them together. But right now, I'm kind of seeing Todd as an opportunist. I'm going back to way back from what Mama Joyce was saying when they first was connecting together and trying to put this marriage union together. So I don't know. My, I got side eye on Todd right now. But anyway, they go in and talk to this lady named Shadina. She's uh, the surrogate for them and their uh, baby. She's uh, playing host to with her body. And Ace is really ready to see his little sister or brother or whatever. He wants to go see because he thinks it's a baby factory machine. She's coming out of some. Uh, orchestrated <laughs> transhuman type function where, you know, the baby's being made out of a shop or something like that on the conveyor belt. But, you know, he's too young to even click to understand what what life is about but without going and talking to him about the birds and the bees. And he's a little bit too young for that at this point. So uh, that was a little cute scene. We move on to Evil. Evil was meeting with her husband for lunch and they were talking about all the shit that's going on in social media, all the uh, misinformation that was thrown her way at, and at her husband, you know, trying to make that little 15 minutes of fame here and there. Uh, she's talking about finding a house like it's that difficult in Atlanta. No, if you got money, you can go construct, you know, go buy you some land, construct a, a, a building of a house and bam, you in it. Now, if, when you have to wait on other people to loan you money and stuff like that, yeah, this is kind of taxing. And we need you uh, able to... Uh, you know, find you a house that you feel like you want it and stay in it. Don't be renting no houses. Just go find you a house, honey, that you could afford and, and pay that mortgage so you can own it one day. And that could be your greatest asset. 
but you know you might not be in that headspace right now so we're gonna let you go here there because we, we still not understand whether you're gonna be on season 13 or not because we think you're going to dallas or houston texas to be with the uh ryan cruz show uh what do you call it? Uh, Ricky Smile and Morning Show. So we still, uh, you know, it's kind of out there with you. <laughs> we ain't paying too much attention. And I really need you to have a season or a season or two on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Stand. Please don't get pregnant. Let me see who you are. Let me see who you are evolving to. Because I'm tired of seeing you pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, you got three. Let's 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 keep it at that minimum for right now and give us you and and your uh personality or who you are. Because right now I'm just stapling you as a baby factory making machine. That's all you have done for these last couple of seasons. And I'm tired of that being your storyline, girl. Pull up, okay? But then we go on to Mike and Cynthia. Cynthia is having Mike at her house. He acting like he own the house right now. He's all up in her bedroom. You know, I guess he's doing word checking messages or whatever. But he just seemed like he don't make himself at home. For him to not have, for him not to be married to you. I'm just saying, baby girl. So he'll still be out there on the, on the couch out there, and we'll be talking here and there. But you won't be laying up in my bed doing all that, all that taping like you. You know, we married and, and you making these rules, but he already setting it out. You know, Cynthia going crazy, talking about she want to be married, she want this, that, and third. I'm like, I ain't never saw no grown ass woman her age beg a man to marry her. Okay, it, it's just too much, too much, too much for me to even comprehend. But you know, Mike was telling her straight up out the jump, look, my business in, is in LA, that's where I reside. Uh, we can have this as pretty much as a summer home or a getaway when we need to come up here. But maybe you got to come back with me to L.A. if you're going to plan on being in my life. And I can appreciate that. But, you know, Cynthia, she's just like a little puppet. She's like, OK, OK, OK. I don't want to talk about her too much more, but I guess we do have to. Um, um, it's another scene where Kenya comes over to visit uh, Cynthia at her wine gallery uh, that she done put together. Uh, kind of look like a pop-up shop to me, but, you know, I ain't making no waves, but it just is what it is. She got her sister Mallory uh, being the store manager for her uh, while she goes in and out of town trying to have a life, build a life with Mike or whatnot, because I don't see her really doing too much else around her, like promoting her sunglasses line, her luggage line. I don't know. I guess it's all being sold on Amazon or uh, eBay or, or whatever. I don't know what Cynthia they got her goods at, but... You know, I'm like, you need to be promoting more. To let me know you still doing that. That's still a business. Cause seem like this wine thing don't got taken over. And that's what you pro producing and pro uh, pro uh, pro projecting out to us now. Okay. I don't know. Maybe your mind uh, celery will be on Amazon or somewhere like that. Um, I, I, I don't know, Cynthia, because you, you're not giving me much to talk to you about or talk about with others about you. Okay. Uh you know, but anyway, uh, that's the whole thing. I'm trying to figure out where Mallory husband at. Is then Mallory still stay? She's staying in Atlanta now. She's not over across the country with her husband. He's supposed to be playing ball, or has he retired? I mean, you didn't give us too much on that. You know, I kind of like that information to be able to do a truthful review. But okay, it's not all about Mallory. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me. Tap me on my shoulder. It's about you, Cynthia. So okay. Kenya comes in with her little baby, Brooklyn. They're visiting. She's trying to catch up. She wants to, you know, uh, reconnect with the girl. She don't really pretty much say, you know, trying to knock Nene out the box because she did say everyone, the girl. So uh, I guess Nene's uh, invitation got lost in the sauce because I didn't see her there and I didn't see Nene with her grandchild. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Okay, I see that little banter they got going on and um, with negative banter. But they go next door to a little cookie shop and, you know, Ken goes in, you know, talking to uh, Cynthia about uh, how Needy, uh, you know, was acting towards her. She's not being friendly, this, that, and the third. And Cynthia goes in and, and be saying some stuff. And, you know, they show clips uh, from past episodes or reunion shows where Needy and Cynthia is getting into it. And Needy's, I mean, uh, Cynthia makes some cuss words, reactions, or she starts cussing at Nene about whatever they're talking about, not calling Nene a hoe or just that, that was just saying, you know, uh, you know, getting her straight, but using some cuss words and stuff. And Nene, you know, get shot. Like, I ain't cussing at you, girl. Don't be cussing at me. You know, that kind of banter going on. Then they're talking about, well, Portia, I mean, not Portia, but uh, Cynthia, again, brings up more mess. She's talking about Dennis and uh, Portia's incident and all like that. And, you know, uh, Kenya acting like she don't uh, know anything about it. But we know Kenya is be down to them streets, too. She knowing what's going on. She ain't uh, boasting the team. We got Cynthia doing that. 
Um, then they go on to talk about Mike and, and uh, Kenny start cussing her out. We're not using cuss words, but she kind of putting her down, like way down in the dirt. She could have buried her six feet under how she carried on with Cynthia about, you thirsty, you looking like a little thot out there. You, you, you doing too much. Let the man chase you. Don't you chase the man. And who she just going on then, uh, what's her name? Um, Cynthia called herself really getting upset about it and, you know, hollering and screaming, talking about, I am thirsty. I am wanting to get married. You know, just calling her shots. I'm like, okay, can I, uh, what's your name? Cynthia, okay, baby, we get it. You thirsty. If he walks all over you, we're going to still keep the same energy that you got. And you want him to walk on you. You want him to treat you like shit, which he, I believe he's going to eventually do. He's going to be up in your pocket, your purse strings later on, and then maybe you'll get a clue. Because right now, you, you, you seem like a little high school sweetheart girl that got your first uh, ass, what do you call it? Your first acceptance uh, that a man asked you out, or a little boy asked you out to go on a date or something, or asked you to become his girlfriend. That's what you're giving us around here. But anyway, um, Kenya says she's going to do a little, uh, a little party for Brooklyn's coming out. That's the best she can do at this time. You know, she got to showcase her baby like she showcased herself, okay? So, they, you know, it's, it's all cute or whatever. But when we, we move on to Portia, Portia family's, uh, you know, surrounded by her, you know, the mama, Diane, I guess she don't cook no more, period. I ain't got nothing wrong with that. When you get up in age, you get seasoned, you don't want to do all this shit. So she ordered in some food for uh, Portia to eat because Portia ain't been treating herself right. She's been in misery. She's been in, uh, you know, just a, a, a lost soul at this time because she can't believe Dennis upset they pretty perfect picture of their uh, relationship and where they were going forth with marriage and becoming a family and adding on to their family and he just um, threw a monkey wrench all up in that uh, sauce and it's kind of she's kind of angry about that so she ain't being nice to herself and she's just exhausting herself with all this mentality weighing down on her for the negative so you know her sister come over uh, I thought she had a key to the house but seeing like uh, Lauren I mean it's, a portion took keys from both so she, you know it was locked the mom had to go let her in and stuff and they was talking a little bit about it and she was gonna go up and see uh Portia but Portia was making her way downstairs with all her gloominess and all this that and the third and she was saying it's just weighing heavy on her heart she's really depressed she don't want to get out of bed she knows she needs to get out of bed but the overwhelming uh negativity that keeps playing back and forth in her mind of what she found out on Dennis' phone and he lied about it and this that, and the third so it was getting to her i like the girl was a pure actress she was bringing them tears she was bringing them emotions uh i even started to feel sorry for her but i'm like no nah, uh -uh. i'm gonna let you grieve because that's what you're supposed to do get it all out your system but i need you to come back dish nation needs you real housewives of Atlanta needs your positive uh pleasing perfect personality we need to see that we don't want to see this side where you crying and carrying on and looking sad because the baby uh, feeling that and then the baby gonna be upset and whining and crying it's gonna be a whole mess everybody crying around now we ain't got time for those kind of tears we want tears of joy so uh, think about your position. Cynthia is great. Go forth and be great, honey. So ain't be wasting all this time on a damn man that ain't treating you right from the get-go. Treat your damn self right, okay? So you can know your worth. So when somebody else try to treat you right, then you just dust them off like, you know, rain falling from the sky or dust gonna scatter it up, you know, because it's a windstorm. You know, just go on and get yourself together and you're gonna go forth and be great. Put God first and you'll be all right, baby. You'll be more than all right, okay? Then we move on to Candy, Eva, and Cynthia. They're at the OLG game, a restaurant chilling and everything. It's, I'm telling you, it was a fictitious state of false uh, pseudo of a scene. And it was just crazy, you know, having this girl come in here on Cecilia Ward, talking about she don't, like, she don't know Candy, but we know from past experiences, people been telling me too, Candy know all about Cecilia Ward. She know her. They've been out, you know, on, uh, been around the same circle of friends, been out having a good time, this, that, and a third. Hell, she probably wanted to put her in a dungeon and probably still will. Uh, but, you know, she comes out and make all these allegations that what we're hearing on social media, in particular, the Tasha. <laughs> Unwind with Tasha uh, YouTube show uh, debunking what she's saying. She's not the person, but everybody been calling her saying and she's fueling the fire out there in them streets. It ain't nothing to do with her. You know, they got to get somebody else, this, that, and the third. And, you know, they felt that they, okay, all right, thank you for telling me. You know, I was in a stage scene. It was piss poor on Candy Park. Why everything, like I say, have to be set up on her turf? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it ain't going to come cool for Portia to really take it like a grain of salt. She ain't going to 
be she don't be like I, I don't want to hear this shit because that coming from Candace Camp, the Candy Coated Factory Click, and they don't like me from the beginning. So it is what it is. So anyway, they come to the mind that they're gonna tell Cynthia, but uh, Eva and Portia, I mean Eva and uh, Cynthia is supposed to lead it, and she's just gonna be in the cut in case they need to say anything because she know it's gonna be some bad. Portia gonna always try to spin it to, but she's gonna be playing the victim and this, that, and the third, and not just taking the information for what it's worth and see if it is true. You know, off camera. But uh, then we got the ladies getting ready for Kenya's party. Everybody's getting dressed. Oh, damn, Cynthia ass come to the uh, show. And I have to cuss because she just gets on my nerve to be her age. And she acted all fruity, flaky out there running around. Uh, oh, uh, I got to have this man. Oh, this man ain't going to get away from me. Oh, he's a prize catch. Just got that kind of mentality in her head got going on. She coming as Barbie, uh, dress up bridal Barbie, bride to be kind of mess. I, I ain't even got engaged yet. But she already done felt like she done got engaged and all this stuff. And she's bringing it to fruition that she's going to get married. I'm like, Kim, uh, Cynthia, sit your ass down somewhere. You set that up. The Lord ain't setting none of that up. None of that. Okay? Because you wouldn't have to be out here looking thirsty and like a thought toward this man. This man would be doing it to you. Okay? But anyway, it is what it is. I don't want to talk about her no more because she got on my nerve. Oh, my goodness. Um, we got Portia and um, Kenya. You know, Portia... Call herself wasn't going to go. She had her little person come over with her stylist, and he made her look pretty. She was going to be holiday Barbie, both her and her baby. And that was cute because every time uh, Portia get dressed up, she do look like a little princess, like she's royalty. So I can go with that. But the, the, the company she's keeping around now with far as a man is questionable. It's very questionable. But anyway, uh, um, Candy, I don't know where the hell she going. Her baby look better than her. Like, Candy, who put your wardrobe together, girl? I don't understand. You you, you didn't look like a Barbie. I couldn't even recognize that Barbie. May have been a rock star Barbie out there. I might have to Google, but you didn't come close to it, baby. I'm like, damn. You know, I, mean, I really want to give you, you know, kudos. I think you're the most positive person out there. Keeping it low key. You know, making your business moves. And, you know, you show. You improve it to us. You don't be talking about it. You be being about it. So, anyway, maybe you should have came at the boss Barbie, the CEO Barbie. That probably fitted you better than the rock star Barbie. I'm like, girl, please. Okay. So, I didn't really get into that one. Um... That's pretty much it for us, the costumes that I care for. But uh, moving on forward from there, uh, the ladies congregate. They talk about sincerely while they're at the little uh, party. Kenya Storm for a little Brooklyn. And she was cute as a button coming in now in a bar because can't even have dry. Can't even hardly sit up straight by herself. But they rolled her on in now and it was good. It was good with the mama, you know, uh, being the grandmaster of the parade. She was trying to uh, put in there for us to take part of. Um, running her down the pink carpet. I don't know if it was a pink carpet, red carpet, what it is, what it is, okay? But Brooklyn was out, okay? She was out for society to let her know she was here. Well, would have topped it off if she would have had her uh, sidekick, uh, Portia's child, rolling around with her. <laughs> <laughs> like they was on a parade float. But like I said, that was too cute, too cute. King, I was gonna do what she got to do for her, her baby and everything. That's why I said, I don't know why she come making a big scene without about Mark and all this old shenanigans. Hell, just say it was just a hoax, whatever. Don't you ain't gotta say it was a hoax kind of make you look in a bad eye. Just think of something. Break up with him like you publicly well, you didn't you publicly brought him out after you got supposedly married. Just break up with him. He don't want you no more. He's going around here acting like he don't want you no more. So stop. Feed into that more negativity. Time for you have to lie more for lie, lies on top of lies. Just, just end it, okay? And let's get to see you in Brooklyn make it in this world. Uh, Because that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. I, I, I ain't focusing on trying to debunk you anymore. Because you're going to do what you're going to want to do and believe. And I'm going to do the same. But anyway, we're going to love on each other uh, regardless. But they go on. Well, can you come around trying to get some hot tea or whatnot? And she sit up there and listen. And they're telling her what happened at the OLG game thing. And they say, don't say that because we got this. Can you sit up there and go have a conversation with Portia, bonding with Portia? And she opened up the door about mess. Okay, but then she's going to go get the other women to introduce the mess. She just put it out there as this is the summary of what's going on. Now I'm going to bring in the, the main players to tell you what really went on. I wasn't there. <laughs> and they looking at Kenya like, damn, did we tell you not to do that shit? Did we not tell you not to do that? So, but y'all want her back. Y'all want her back and y'all click. So this is what y'all got to put up with. Okay? So I blame y'all. Um, 
And then, you know, Portia was asking um, Eva why she didn't bring her children. Eva was saying, you know, me and uh, Ken, I mean, me and um, Ken ain't that good right now. So I don't want to bring her around here. She tried to fight me, and then I had to call, you know, uh, security and shit, which was a piss poor excuse. And I was glad Portia got on her ass about that. I ain't nobody going to cut up with no kids. But that's just, you know, brings more fuel to the fire that Kenya is wrong for saying out there on social media that she got uh, Eva Marcel on her team when it don't seem like that's the case. But y'all, that's all I had for this uh, little episode, episode one of season 12 for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I, I Hopefully y'all liked it. Y'all come back for next week's episode. And just anything I put out on my channel, y'all come check it out, subscribe if you haven't, and share and like my videos, y'all. But that's all I have. Y'all have a beautiful Monday. I'm off today, so that's why you're seeing me on the tube recording. If it wasn't so... Y'all probably wouldn't got this till I got off work, but it is what it is. Y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.